Hello everyone. In this topic, we will talk about the hypercapnia. Hypercapnia means excess carbon dioxide in the body fluids. Hypercapnia usually occur in association with hypoxia only when the hypoxia is caused by hypoventilation or circulatory deficiency. Hypercapnia circulatory deficiency diminished flow of blood decreased carbon dioxide removed from the tissue resulting in the tissue hypercapnia in addition to tissue hypoxia. The transport capacity of the blood for carbon dioxide is more than that of the oxygen. So then the result tissue hypercapnia is much less than the tissue hypoxia. In hypoxia resulting from poor diffusion through the pulmonary membrane or through the tissue, serious hypocapnia usually does not occur at the same time because carbon dioxide diffuses 20 times as rapidly as oxygen. If hypocapnia does begin to occur, the damage at least stimulate pulmonary ventilation, which correct the hypocapnia but not necessarily the hypoxia. When the alveolar Partial pressure of the carbon dioxide rises above the 60 to 75 millimeter of mercury. Breathing becomes rapid and deep. Air hunger, dyspnea becomes severe. If the partial pressure of the carbon dioxide rises to 80 to 100 millimeter of mercury, the person becomes sluggish and sometimes even semi comatose. Anesthesia and death can result when the partial pressure of carbon dioxide rises to 120 to 150 millimeter of mercury. At higher level of partial pressure of carbon dioxide, the excess carbon dioxide began to depress respiration rather than stimulate it, thus causing a viscous circle. More carbon dioxide further decreases in respiration, then more carbon dioxide and so forth, ending rapidly in a respiratory death.